Well, hi guys, this is Ankesh Vastha from AdShotMedia.com, and uh, welcome to this new video where today I'll be uh, sharing with you that how I use uh, Google Keyword Planner for my keyword research as well as uh, negative keyword research because uh, you know if you are using a Google Keyword Planner and you are running your own campaign in PPC or you are managing uh, your client's campaign, whatever it is, uh, you know that as important uh, the, the positive keywords are the search keywords are equally is the importance of uh, negative keywords so if you don't use negative keywords in your campaign then you are losing out the money losing out the potent, potential traffic and uh, probably uh, wasting your uh, budget on irrelevant traffic and search terms so uh, yeah so in today's video uh, what we will learn is that how i use uh, google key google keyword planner for uh, my campaign and i'll show you that uh, how you can build your negative keywords from scratch right so uh, if you're new to this channel i would uh, really appreciate uh, if you uh, like and subscribe this uh, video and uh, let's move forward to my google uh, account google ads account and uh, let's uh, see how i do it so here's my uh, uh, google ads account uh, all right uh, you are I, I i hope you are familiar with the interface uh, now what i'll do is i'll just go to uh, this uh, tool and setting uh, tool and setting icon here as you can see and uh, I'll go to this planning and keyword keyword planner. All right. Once you go to keyword planner, uh, you have to go to discover new keywords, and you can select your region or geographical region on which your ads are targeting. I am here. I am selecting uh, United States, for example. It's United States, and save it and here you have to type uh, what type of campaign your category or niche uh, whatever business you are doing whatever business you are promoting uh, you have to type that category here for example if you are uh, promoting dentist then you can type dentist or if you are promoting uh, solar panel company uh, then it's solar panel But here I will uh, go with uh, the example of pest control because it's uh, one of the most favorite niche in paper call which I am doing. So it's pest control uh, near me. Right. And uh, get results. Uh, here uh, you can see that uh, here are the uh, different search terms as uh, related to your uh, your your search term that you that you entered here and uh, here are the related search term that you can use for your uh, campaign uh, now let's let's just uh, let me explain every uh, term terminologies for better better understanding here it is called keyword uh, by ref relevance for example uh, whatever you type here google suggest on that on, on that basis uh, that what keywords you can use and should target for getting much better traffic much quality traffic all right on your campaign so here are all the uh, relevant key relevant keywords here and average monthly searches is that uh, how much this particular search term or keyword is uh, getting searches per month uh, these are the number so as uh, whatever as big as number it is uh, the more traffic you will get on your keywords yeah so you can click here and uh, it will sort out on the basis of uh, the number of uh, searches uh, every uh, search term gets so it is the most searched keyword here and as you go below it is the least searched uh, keyword so you can choose accordingly on uh, your need that which type of uh, which search term keyword you have to select for your campaign example you can select this one you can select this one all right any keyword that you like you can select for your campaign so it's 
three months change i do not actually uh, bother about this data because uh, you know it doesn't matter for my business so i don't think <coughs> you should care about this but let me explain what it what it says that three months change that how much uh, traffic how much queries uh, related to the system google uh, google is getting uh, in uh, past three months on an average so uh, if it is plus anything uh, for example it's plus 22 percent that means the query of this this system has been uh, you know increased by 22 percent uh, for this keyword now for this keyword exterminate exterminator near me it's zero percent so it means uh, it's there is no change in the traffic for like uh, in average uh, past three months so it's zero percent now it's again 22 percent same as earlier it's zero it's minus 18 it means that the uh, query for this system has been decreased by 18 percent so i don't think i don't know uh, maybe uh, people are not getting much uh, not uh, showing some interest on this kind of keyword so you can uh, you know plan your keyword research uh, accordingly on this data if you like i do not care about this data anymore similarly uh, it is uh, the data which uh, compare your monthly uh, whatever month you are searching it it will compare this month and last year's month for example if you are searching in uh, july 2023 so it will compare the data uh, it will compare the data with july 2022 for the same uh, keyword so here uh, you can see it's 50 percent increase is minus 18 percent minus 18 percent so yeah you can plan accordingly so now it's about competition so what it tells is that if the competition is higher for example it's medium is in this keywords best best pest control near me uh, the competition is higher for example that that means that uh, uh, many advertisers are you know uh, bidding on this particular system or particular particular keyword so your chance of uh, winning the auction uh, for this this uh, this particular keyword is very less if you want to uh, you know uh, win the auction then you have to bid a lot more higher than your competitor so i would suggest that if you are starting and if you are in a very low budget and you're not a big company then i would suggest that please do not go for the high competition keyword always go for low competition for example this is low competition or maybe medium competition but do not go for high competition because it will you ha you'll have to spend more bid on your keyword uh, than usual all right so this is what i do uh, if i am I'm, I'm creating a new campaign then i will i will de definitely no, not go for the uh, high competition keywords all right now i would go for this uh, top of bid top of page bid and top of page bid high range and low range so it's the high range means uh, low range means that uh, you know top of page is the uh, is that section is that uh, let me explain this if i type press control near me and uh, you can see here the sponsored ads it's terminix uh, orkin terminix so this is the top of page you know these all are top of page for this particular uh, search so uh, so the low range is this uh, let me see this is the low range you know uh, the from here the organic search search searches starts so anything uh, any ad which will show above this area above this organic area is called the top of page and the low range is the lowest position and the high range is the highest position so uh, let, let us go back to our keyword planner and see if we uh, bid uh, almost like 990 rupees uh, in india or whatever it's whatever the figure is in your own country uh, so you can um, you can compare it that if if you bid almost like this amount 
then you will be uh, eligible to show uh, here you know in the lowest region but if you uh, bid almost like this amount then Google will try to show your ad at the top anywhere between this area all right so so yeah so you can you can uh, plan your campaign and your budget and your bids accordingly that what is your goal all right so this is how this data is useful in order to uh, you know complete in order to uh, get complete research on your campaign before starting and before uh, you know uh, going live for your campaign you have to uh, you know do a basic keyword research for this uh, you have to yeah so this is the basic uh, basic research that that you have to do and that i do for uh, before starting any campaign and planning your keyword and uh, it will definitely help you that how uh, you can uh, bid effectively on your campaign and keywords all right uh, now this is very important uh, factor here com competition index so as big as the number uh, here for any keyword for example it is 63 uh, for estimator near me which means as as big as the number as big as the competition and as big as the competition as as big bid amount you have to put for winning the auction all right so for example it is 63 and then the competition is uh, you know it's you can see it's 0 to 100 so you can uh, you know uh, conclude on your own that if if the comp if the competition index index is 63 out of 100 then it is really highly competitive keyword and your chance of uh, winning the auction is quite low until unless you are bidding very high on your keyword so you can go for 43 it is uh, less than 50 percent competition now 41 is less than 50 percent you know uh, so i would you see you can see here 11 is really a uh, low competitive keyword it's termite control near me all right so uh, you can plan your campaign like this if it is less competitive uh, low and low to medium uh, competition and you know bidding uh, on your keyword uh, on the basis of this data then definitely it will help you to uh, get your ads shown uh, on the top top of your page and winning auction almost every time all right now so this is the basic uh, you know basic uh, method on how i basically research for my campaign all right now uh, what i will do is i will also discuss i would like to discuss that uh, importance of negative keyword is very uh, crucial uh, in your campaign's performance all right so if you are not using uh, and if you are not uh, up updating your negative keyword uh, you know uh, regularly then definitely you are you you are losing a lot of money on um, you know bad traffic so uh, what if you are this is starting and you do not do not have any data to judge that which type of uh, keywords are, are good for you and which type of keyword are not good for you so here's the method what i'll do is uh, if I, if suppose that i'm a new uh, i'm a new account creator i'm new campaign creator and uh, for this uh, pest pest control campaign i'm just starting with my campaign and how i will collect my negative keyword from the scratch so here's the here's the catch go for brand or non-brand all right just go here uh, refine keywords go to refine keywords and now you can select or deselect whatever you want all right for example uh, if you like that you should your ad should not be shown to uh, to these uh, these search terms like orkin is a brand terminix is a brand you know these all are brands big brands all right and if for example if you are running a campaign for a client and his need is that uh, you know i don't want my ads, ads to be shown on particular brands like these all right so what you what i'll do is i will uh, i will i will deselect everything which i want 
in my campaign for example this is this is the these are the keywords that i want in my campaign right here my research has been done right here my research has been done so i will just copy these uh, keyword and copy to uh, and paste paste them to my excel sheet now let's go for the negative keywords right so for negative keywords uh, for example if uh, if my client doesn't want my ads to be his ad, ads to be shown on uh, these brands then what i'll do is i will deselect everything which i want for example i will deselect i will deselect every insect here because these are the keyword that i will be uh, needing for my keyword so uh, I, I have deselected this now i have deselected this and i have also deselected this now all i am left with are the uh, as we can see all i am left with are the all i am left with are the as you can see all i am left with uh, are the brands only brands clear brand keywords right you can see these all are brands so if your client doesn't want his budget to be spent or if you yourself are running for your own business then if you don't want your 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 budget to be spent on these uh, brand keywords all right so then follow this method and check everything that you want so what you will left is the things that you don't want all right here i am left with all the brand that google can show on my campaign and my keyword so here totally 193 uh, brands that i have what i'll do is i'll just select all these all right copy all these and paste in my excel sheet and here is my negative keywords of you know 193 negative keyword with pure brand so yeah from the day one you will omit your traffic to be shown on these brands here's how i plan my negative keywords and i hope you too can do like this now you can just play around with the settings for example uh let's see let's say if uh, you don't want uh search terms to be shown for maybe b or wasp or wildlife or maybe let's say uh let's say rats all right so if your client or you don't want your ads to be shown on these keywords uh, wasp world wildlife bee and rat control then just do it uh, like this check those keyword now you can see all you will be having are the keywords with uh, these search terms now select those keywords too and copy them to your excel sheet and that's how you will have uh, pure negative keywords clean negative keyword list from scratch from day one and that's how you have to that's how uh, you will uh, save a lot of money on bad traffic uh that's how you will save a lot of money uh going in uh, going to a uh, bad traffic bad search term and that's how you will win every auction and make your campaign profitable all right so this is this was just a video about giving you an idea that how i use negative uh, how i use google key, google keyword planner for free because you know there are many paid tools for keyword research and uh, negative keyword but i would suggest not to pay any dime on those uh, tools uh, we have a free tool uh, called G google keyword planner just go there and plan your positive keyword plan your negative keyword like this and you're good to go and as your campaign keeps running just go to your search terms and uh, keep updating your positive and negative keywords and if you know uh, if you if you want to know more detail about how to create a campaign uh, from uh, a to z then i have al already created a detailed video on this including landing page and everything i have uh, i will i will put the link on the, in the description and uh, i hope this video help uh, you know helped you for uh, keyword planning and using google keyword planner and if it does then please like and subscribe the uh, subscribe the video and channel and uh, and guys i am also planning for uh, you know small and uh, beginner and 
pro level course for complete uh, PPC paper call uh, master class. So if you're interested, then then just let me know and um, what do you want in this in that content? What do you want want in that course? I will be happy to you know uh, put that stuff in my tutorials. All right. So just comment your views on this video and whatever videos you want to hear uh, and see uh, in future. Yeah. So that's all for today. Uh, it's uh, it's Ankish Vastav signing off. Have a great day. Uh, let's meet in another video. Bye-bye. Take care.